Now again, I'm going to trim the red, kind of a reddish orange, but I'm going to trim the red because, see, like along the top of the engine, you want a nice crisp red line. And all these areas, again, as I say that machined look, you want it to not go outside the lines. And see, when you put the red here, as I pull this template away, you will start to see the evidence of the separation line of the red and the orange being separated. And one thing I realized, which it's don't have any real worry going back, but I didn't do the handrails. See, and there's no real rule of what order to do this in. But if you forget to do the handrails, it's usually a good idea to go back and do them before like you do the black because it's generally a good rule to do the lightest colors first. That is kind of an important rule that I actually should have maybe stressed as I was starting what exactly I was doing because there is a little bit of an order to this and you can kind of see that see the handrails are now done and I also didn't do the side sill. The good thing about the side sill in a couple of these areas is that the side sill is going to have black underneath it and red on top with a black break. So you don't need to really at this moment separate it. But see, as you start to look at it, don't you kind of get this feeling of, wow, this is really starting to look like the Florida East Coast colors. And as you do get that kind of feeling, this stage of the drawing really kind of becomes fun. And the further you go along, the more fun it kind of becomes. You kind of get a little bit of anxiety built up about the fact that, wow, and this is really going to be a nice Florida East Coast engine. And all the patience of You know, as I have to admit I did it a little faster than normal, but all the patience of, you know, two hours or more of drawing all those pencil lines, at this point of the drawing, really feel like they pay off. Because, especially now as I color this part, you really get the feeling. Oops, real quick. I should go around that Florida East Coast logo. And see, this is where it is a great idea to use a circle because you want that logo to be tight around the edges. And don't worry about coloring in the sea and the, the sun 